Um, hi, this is a really pointless thing I made while slacking off on working on my Batania add-on. Um, it's a sugarcane farm that doesn't use any pistons to break the sugarcane. Um, so it uses a Claconia. Okay, let me just explain that. So let me get it primed. I'll drop eight sand, eight sugarcane onto these round carpi, which place them like that. That was very organized for some reason. This one places sand on the red sandstone, and this one places sugarcane on top of the sand. Um, yeah, so you give it time to grow. I don't have anything put in like a um, observer to detect this because you shouldn't really be using this in the first place, but you could probably use a timer. Anyway, this will fire two manaverse, um, potency manaverse at this Claconia. Each potency burst makes it um, break f exactly four pieces of sand. Huh? And that's how you break the sugarcane, you just turn it into clay. After there are eight pieces of clay detected in this chest here, which for some reason does not make a sound when I open it, I have no idea why. Um, after eight pieces of clay, this corporate request fires off, which requests eight more sand on, under the Claconia pressure plate. This fires off requesting eight sugarcane, and the rest of the sugarcane after a short delay, just to make sure this gets it first, um, goes into here, and the leftover clay goes into this chest. Um, this one is not on the corporate network, so it doesn't like cause this cube to fire up again. Um, you might wonder where the sand comes from. Oh, you have to supply it yourself. This is that's why it's a great sugarcane farm. Uh, what else? What else? Um, right. I want to call attention to this circuit, which I built up over here to demonstrate a bit better. Um, the random carpus is disabled by redstone, but this doesn't actually power the random carpus because it's on a slab. So this will help you, like, if you, I don't know, if you want to power this hopper hawk while still letting the random carpus place things. Um, but like, you don't want the random carpus to pick up the items. And you don't want to use like the power of the open crate thing either. Uh, this could be a good solution. Someone's ringtone is going off. Okay, I should probably stop recording. Bye. I didn't explain that last bit really well. Um, so the idea here is if you use an open crate to dispense the item, um, it doesn't power the random carpus, but it still powers the hopper rock, so it can't pick it up. Uh, don't ask where this block is in the mod, by the way. Um, this would still work if you like power the open crate, I guess. Um, like instead of powering the hopper hook, but it might depend on things like blocking the take order, whether this gets it first, and also you have to sit around waiting for like 30 years before this will get a chance to fire, so yeah, uh, that circuit is something to keep in your tool bag, I guess. I'll definitely be using it as long as I can find... Oh look, it didn't win. It got The hopper hook got to it first. Oh no. So that's why I use the circuit over here. I didn't actually know about this before designing this, so it's kind of handy. Previously I used like super janky stuff, like dispensing it. I, yeah, give me dirt. Like, I'd have some setup like this and put the dispenser right here, and it would dispense into this tiny space that the random carpus can see, but I could still put a pressure plate here that wouldn't power the random carpus. Don't do that, just use a slab, it's so much easier. Okay.